Hey you buddy! Welcome back to the channel and to the wonderful world of warships. So today I will showcase the tier 7 British premium cruiser the Belfast or HMS Belfast. And it's a 3 4 cap domination game on the map Estuary. And I uh, think this map is pretty great for cruisers, especially Belfast. Because if you look uh, at the caps, especially the A and D cap, you can see that uh, there are pretty nice mountains and islands where you can uh, set up perfect ambush points on. We're up against, I think, two radar cruisers on the enemy team. A Cleveland and a Flint. I'm pushing the D-cap with uh, the friendly Z-23. Which is a pretty good combo since I have Hydro and uh, Smoke and Radar. And he also have uh, good German Hydro Acoustic Search as well. Uh, Shiratsuyo on our team is uh, pushing straight up the middle which is uh, a bit questionable at the start of the game. That's usually uh, a suicide move. And uh, our Kogero is pushing the A-cap, but he actually displays uh, some experience and knowledge. He doesn't push straight into the A-cap, which would be pretty uh, silly of him, since there are two radar cruisers, so he's... Uh, Playing it very cautiously, which is really great. Uh, moving around the cap instead of pushing straight into the cap. Because you should never really push into the cap before you know where the radar cruisers are positioned on the map. So kudos to uh, the Kagero player. The Zed manages to spot uh, enemy Asashio. So I will push out, smoke up, and try to engage him as uh, long as possible. I think uh, Sashio broke his engine and uh, he used his repair, so if I could set some fires on him would be great. I think he's gonna run out of my radar pretty soon. Yeah, he went dark. but. Uh, between me and the Zed we made, uh, I think, half his uh, health disappear, which is a pretty good start. Ibuki pushes in, showing broadside, so I switch to uh, armor piercing. Hoping to be able to punish him a bit for that. No citadels though. Will he show broadside again, or will he try and uh, pull a Notzer pretty much right into the island? Doesn't really matter because our Richelieu managed to blap him. Now I can feel pretty safe sitting here in my smoke because. Uh, the two destroyers on the enemy team that are here at the B cap are both Asashios, which of course means they can't harm me with torpedoes, they can only hit uh, battleships or carriers. I see the enemy Lyon pushing my smoke, so I can't really stay in my smoke since it's uh, going away, so I need to try and bail as uh, also trying to uh, negate as much damage as possible from these battleships. I have also the Richelieu and Bismarck on the other side of the cap shooting at me, so... Fortunately I managed to go dark pretty soon, and now the enemy Lyon is uh, turning around. But we do have an enemy destroyer in the cap. Now as you can see the enemy team has a big 
pretty big presence around the cap so I can't really push in to try and use my radar because uh, then I will only get blapped by either the Richelieu, the Bismarck or the Lyon. So instead I try to set up a position here behind the islands using my smoke and start to engage these battleships. Hopefully try to uh, discourage them to uh, hold their ground and uh, hopefully make them turn around and uh, head away from the cap instead. The Belfast can be pretty efficient in uh, making battleship players disengage with all the fire spam. Of course I'm running IFHE also on my uh, Belfast captain, which means that the alpha damage on my salvos are pretty high as well. Coupled with, uh, of course, the fire chance. Well, you will see the end results of this game. You will understand the damage outputs this ship has at tier 7. So my usual tactic is to try and focus the main uh, spearheading battleship. The ship of the enemy fleet that are pretty much uh, leading the push. Try to uh, kill him off as uh, soon as possible or at least uh, discourage him. And then just uh, start focusing uh, the rest. And in that way pretty much uh, pause the enemy's uh, advancements. As you can see this uh, Richelieu is starting to uh, dislike his positioning and uh, is uh, quickly reversing back into cover. I see one of the Asashios so I'm trying to get some shots in on him while he's spotted. It would be great to finish off uh, one more of the enemy destroyers. The Zed actually managed to kill off the Asashio, which is great. Now we only have one destroyer, one Asashio to worry about. And that's only our battleships that need to uh, worry about that. And as you can see, it uh, seems to be working since we have a Goscoin on our team seemingly trying to get out of the map. We have a Sinop reversing back into spawn and a Rexilu hiding behind an island. So he has good effects on our battleship players. I give him that. But uh, the problem is that leaves me in a Belfast or Seattle and our pretty low health Z23 to pretty much uh, tank for our team on this flank, which isn't really optimal. As you can see, the Seattle is getting engaged by uh, so many ships. I'm trying to uh, help him out by focusing uh, the lead ship, but... Uh, I think that guy is uh, toast, unfortunately. It would be great if uh, some of our battleships would be here to tank instead. On the plus side though, <coughs> it looks like our team is winning on the other flank. They have managed to grab the A cap, so the caps are in uh, balance right now. I got a couple of uh, fires on the Bismarck, so now I'm switching to the low health uh, Richelieu because it would be great if we could uh, secure some of the kills. I'm trying to stay behind this island for as long as possible. I'm trying to use that instead of burning through my smokes. But I soon we'll have to leave because uh, they are pushing really close.
actually I'm guessing that I need to uh, make my final stand here because I would never pretty much uh, survive trying to bail from this position with a Vladivostok and a Richelieu and a Bismarck pushing my position. Also a Flint of course. <coughs> Zed managed to uh, bag himself another kill, which is great. The enemy Richelieu. Unfortunately, they took our Richelieu and our Sinop with them. And now our uh, Gascoigne is getting focused as well. So me and the Zed are trying our best here to uh, help him out. But uh, unfortunately, he dies as well. I managed to take out the Bismarck, but now I'm getting pushed by a Flint and a Vladivostok. And I'm just waiting for uh, that uh, radar on the Flint to expose me to the Vladivostok's uh, guns. I'm not really sure why he sent. Using his radar, but I should be spotted real soon by the Vladivostok anyways. And in this situation, it's only one play I can do pretty much, and that is just to ram straight into the Vladivostok. Because I will never survive trying to uh, kite away from a Vladivostok at these ranges. So I'm trying to shoot the enemy Cleveland, and I'm... Um, uh, Preparing to do my final push and ram the enemy Vladivostok. <clears throat> Since the win is pretty much in the bag anyways. I'm just hoping that he isn't flapping me before I manage to uh, hit him. I actually didn't kill him, but uh, I did score pretty good damage on him. So uh, as you can see, 192,000 damage in a tier 7 cruiser. Of course, Belfast being Belfast, but... Now, uh, <laughs> there are some team members in chat trying to... Uh, they're not really sure why I uh, choose to uh, go for the ram in this situation. They actually think that Belfast has torps, but uh, of course it doesn't. So uh, in this situation, uh, yeah, I couldn't really do anything else. And I pretty much took out the Vladivostok, I mean he's on uh, extremely low health. And uh, well... I managed to bag myself almost 200k damage, so it was a good play for me and a good play for the team, because we will win. So I will just jump into the post-battle screen results. And as you can see, a pretty good game, 662,000 credits. 8.8 thousand base XP, uh, sorry, experience. Almost 200k, 2 kills, 10 fires, 5 citadels. 2.6 thousand base experience. Earning me the number one spot in the team, which is uh, always great, of course. And the Vladivostok that I almost took out with my ram has uh, al also a very good game. He had a Kraken game, actually. So uh, I had to compliment him for that. So, uh, yeah. Pretty decent damage. 75,000 from the Richelieu. So, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video, please leave a like and a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing gameplays. Until next time guys, have a good one, bye bye.